things you need part 80 craft edition so this is a wide angle smartphone lens and i found these at the dollar tree these are great for ornaments let me show you what you use them for so this christmas holiday a lot of people are making ornaments and as you can see this is my santa cam ornament that i made with this lens i just use some E6000 glue or Gorilla Glue you can use to put this lens on it and it is super cute to hang on the tree. You can, I have another one that I did and this is the Elf Cam and they're super cute and it comes with a little shutter um, to cover the lens so it can be protected. This one is for my nephew but let me show you the shutter. It protects the lens guys so you see it's covered be sure to like comment subscribe and hit that share button guys hey craft lovers and welcome back to my channel today we are making ornaments I got these from the Dollar Tree these are like the lamp looking ones um, they have different ones for a dollar they have two for a dollar, then they have the big circle one. So what we want to do is cut this tab off because it already comes with the string, which is great. You don't need to use your ribbon. So we're going to cut these off. And I am going to show you how I do my two-toned ornaments to have two different kinds of glitter inside. So what you want to do is untwist it. And once you untwist it, you want to have polyacrylic. Um... I'm going to list the material in the description below. So what you're going to take it for a two-tone um, ornament, you want to put the polyacrylic on the top. You don't want it to go to the bottom. This, the, this dose of polyacrylic is only going to be for the bottom of the ornament. Um, and then you're going to just twirl it around. And when I say bottom, I'm fit the bottom where closer to the opening even though it's the top when you're hanging it on the tree. And you're just gonna keep twirling it so that the material rolls evenly around the ornament until you get all the way to the bottom and then you're gonna drip the excess polyacrylic out of that ornament. So you're gonna keep twirling, twirling, twirling. You see how it's getting closer and closer to the opening of the ornament. Almost there, you're gonna keep twirling. And once you get down to like the the ending you could just leave it in the cup but it's a little bit more a little bit more and there we go that's all covered so now you're going to just put it in the cup and let it drip drip out remember this is because we're doing a two layer ornament of the two different glitters inside of the ornament you have to do the top layer first so then the bottom layer can be a different glitter. And I have four different glitters that I'm going to be using. Two in one of them and then one, um, the silver in one and the blue in another. So what you want to do is just let that drip out. I have a glitter funnel but I can't find it at the moment. So what you want to do is just take a piece of paper and twirl it into a cone. So you're going to fold it in a little bit. And then just keep twirling and you have your cone right perfect so now we're gonna do uh, remember you want to make sure it drips out I let it sit and drip for like a minute or two oh there's still a little bit more let me make sure it drips so the longer it drips yes it's gonna dry on the inside but you want to make sure that it, it drips all the way out because you don't want no clumps so I'm gonna be using the light pink for the top layer or should I say the layer closest to the opening of the ornament. I'm just going to put my paper made cone into the ornament like this. I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to pour the glitter inside. Don't matter how much you put guys, we're going to recycle and put all of it right back inside. So what you want to do is just pour it in and I'm going to show you the same method we use to Put the polyacrylic, you're going to do the same for the glitter. You're going to rotate it. Just keep rotating around and make sure you get all the spots. And this is extra fine glitter. This glitter was found at um, 
Walmart. But you can get any extra fine glitter. And it don't necessarily need to be extra fine glitter. Um, and I'm going to show you because I'm doing a one that's not extra fine glitter. And you see how I said it doesn't matter how much glitter you put. It's going right back inside of the glitter. And that is the top layer. So you want to make, as you do your next ornaments, you definitely need to let this dry. Let it dry for like two minutes. And then we're going to um, do the top layer. And see, it's still more. So I always hit it out to make sure you get the excess out of there. Yep. And as it dries, because I have a polycrylic that's gloss, it's going to shine. So no worries on how it looks when the polycrylic is wet. You see, I'm pouring the glitter inside. Close it up because glitter is hard to clean up but I have a glitter vacuum for we are memory keepers next I'm gonna do the silver again you want to cut off the tag again these are found at the Dollar Tree cut that off you don't need to add a ribbon because it comes with its own ribbon to put onto the tree you're gonna untwist it you're gonna add your polyacrylic and you're gonna see the difference between the first ornament we did and this one because this is all gonna all of it is gonna be silver so I'm gonna put plenty of poly acrylic inside and I'm using I don't even know what this called the suction thing but I find that it is helpful especially for the two color ornament so um if you know what this called just write it in the comments but I call it like a little suction and then we're gonna do the same method Twirl it, twirl it around all the way until we get to the opening of the ornament. Just keep twirling. This technique works best so it don't clump up. It's going to be, even if you do this, it's going to be some cases where it still clump up, but it won't clump up um, as bad. So just make sure you use this method when you're just twirling it around to make sure it's even. And as it gets to the opening you just let it drip out and you always want to wait like a minute before you put in the glitter so it won't clump up you need the excess polycrylic to drop out so i'm just going to sit this here and i'm going to work on the next one again we're going to cut this tag off And we are going to open this baby up. And then for this one, I'm using the blue glitter. And as you can see, it's not extra fine. It's chunkier glitter. That teal, I'm going to be putting in the two color one. So right now, I have some in the suction thing. So I'm going to just hold that one up and then put more of the polyacrylic inside the one that I need to put it in. And again, this is going to be all blue with chunky glitter. And you want to use as much as possible. Don't worry because this is going to drip right out. So you're not going to be wasteful. <clears throat> you can always reuse it for different ornaments depending on how many you're doing. Again, you're going to use the same method. I'm just going to sit this to the side right here. And then we're going to twirl the same method. So I'm going to speed this up so I, you guys can see the glitter process. All right, now that we sped that up, let's add some glitter. Again, we're going to use our paper made shape funnel for the glitter you see how the excess is in there oops all right i'm just gonna pour the rest of it out at the same time you don't want no excess glitter because that leaves clumps and we don't want clumps guys well at least i don't there's gonna be chances where it even when you do pour all the excess out it's still gonna show but we want to prevent it as much as possible See, I see a piece of polycrylic on the paper, so I'm just going to tear it so then no glitter gets stuck as I'm pouring it in. 
So if that happens to you, and I have a silicone mat down, it's an easy clean. I'll just put some Dawn dish soap and clean it off, and we're good to go. There is my makeshift glitter funnel. Put the paper inside. You're going to hold it with your thumb and index finger, and you're going to just pour it in. Glitter will drop. I need to find my uh, glitter funnel, but we don't have it, so we're going to make do with our paper funnel. It gets the job done. Pour as much as you like, because remember, it is going to be returned back into the glitter that um, glitter container that it's coming from because all the excess goes back because we got to dump it out anyway to make sure no clump. So you again, you want to twirl it in the same motion. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Keep twirling it. Then shake it out. We need more glitter. So instead of using the funnel, I'm just going to freehand it, guys. I pray and hope nothing falls. But if it does, the silicone mat is there, and I do have a glitter vacuum. So pour, 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 and again, pour as much as you like because it's going to go right back into the container. Again, same motion. So it distributes the glitter evenly. I'm going to shake it out. We're going to add some more. Okay, I'm going to use the glitter funnel. I made it wider this time so I can pour more inside of it at once. So it's a faster method. There we go. And then you're going to twirl, twirl, twirl. Same motion. There we go. And we're going to shake the excess out back into the container. And just like that, this is done, guys. See that? Super shiny. And when it dries, it's going to be even shinier with the brighter gloss. You always want to make sure you hit it to get all of the excess out. You don't want to waste anything that you don't have to. So we're going to twirl that back on. Mm -hmm. And I am going to put this to the side and let's start the next color one. This one is going to be the blue chunky glitter. And I got this from Amazing Savings and I think it was like 89 cents. I need to pull this off. Hopefully I don't make a mess. It's hard to pull off. So I know I'm oh, in a mess. Oh Lord. No worries. I will get my glitter vacuum to clean that up. And I'm going to put all the excess back into the container. So I'm not even worried about it. So, um, let's do that. So I vacuumed up the stuff and this is what I have left. So I'm just going to pour the chunky glitter inside. And again, you want to use the same method. And with the chunkier glitter, I feel like I like it more than the extra fine glitter. It gives it an extra oomph, if you know what I mean. It's really pretty. So I'm going to pour the excess on the paper so then it's easier for me to just pour it back into the tube that it came in. Easy. And let me show you guys how wonderful this looks. It's super, super pretty. But let's make sure that all the access is out. And just twirl it back on and look at the chunky glitter. Look, I'm putting it on wrong. There we go. And look at that. Pretty. Yes, blue chunky glitter. All right, so we're going to put this back inside. Because we don't waste no glitter. I mean, I already wasted enough. And if you can see near my right hand, I have the We Are Memory Keeper Glitter Vacuum. And that is what I'm going to use at the end to get all this glitter up. But you can see that is mostly on my silicone mat, which is I wash it off with uh, Dawn dish soap. And it works like a charm. We're going to close this baby up. Mm -hmm. And 
we're gonna move on to the two color ornament this is dry if you can see it's shiny and that's how you know that it's dry so now what we're gonna do we're gonna use our little suction we're gonna get the polyacrylic put it all the way in we do not want to touch the glitter on the top layer as you enter it you want to make sure you put it directly on the bottom so that is one dose of suction of the polyacrylic and we're going to add another one remember you do not want to touch the top layer i think i'm going to need another one probably not okay so yeah you're going to just twirl and you're going to keep twirling to it meets the other half of the polyacrylic glitter and you want to even it out and I'm going to show you the trick so it doesn't drip or get messy because it's always going to be access so you're going to keep twirling keep twirling and as soon as it touches there we go touch 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 you want to make sure you, now you're going to just twirl to make sure you get it all I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm like leveling out on each side now now you want to make sure you can see inside of it you see the access what we're gonna do is is at the bottom you see how it's dripping back to the bottom you want to make sure it drips to the bottom and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the suction again you're gonna put it back inside don't touch the top and you're gonna suck all of that out just like we um, put it in we're gonna suck all that out and put it back and that is the secret to doing a two color ornament. Make sure you have this little suction thingy. Again, suck all of the excess out so you don't get no glumps and chunks as you pour it in the second layer of glitter. Ta-da, that's my secret guys. This is my method, this is what has worked. And of course it was trial and error for me to figure this out, but um, you don't have to figure it out anymore because I figured it out for you. So um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the comment section below. But yes, see it's just a little bit left, but that'll be fine once the glitter is added. And again, I'm using this paper funnel, put it inside just like this, and we're gonna put in the blue. Yes, it's like a Tiffany blue, I want to say, a teal. And you're going to pour as much as you like because, again, all of the excess is going right back inside. And remember, the top layer is dry. That's why it's important for the top layer. You want the top layer to dry. And you're going to twirl it around in the same motion. And now you have a two-tone color ornament. How cool is that? And this ornament is going to be a unicorn thing. So, it's perfect. You want to just make sure, with extra fine, you got to keep going over to make sure you don't have any extra spots. And you see, right back into the container it goes. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, let it dry for like two minutes. Let's put this top on. And once it dries, it's going to be a glossy, beautiful ornament. But that is my method. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a finished look of all three, but let me show you the ones I did prior to this. These are the ones. Quick Design Space Santa Cam font is called DJ Flirt. The girl's name in the light pink and dark pink font is called Tells Mermaid. The elf font is called Tim Kid. Um, and on the back of the Sansa, I have Devin, and that is Juice. And the EKM font is Tim Kid as well. Again, thanks for watching my channel, Craft Lovers. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, concerns, make sure you leave it in the comment section. Make sure you share, like, hit that subscribe button, and that bell notification.